Okay, so the next topic is accounting for disposal. Disposal mean when you try to um, disposal mean when you decide to remove the non-current asset from your balance sheet. You are selling it out. You can sell it on cash or you can sell it as a part exchange. Part exchange means you give an old asset plus some cash to get the new asset. So disposal is also one of the important topics. It is also checked in exam. So let's see how do we do accounting for disposal. So if you see, let's create, a, um, okay, so let's create some example that we've got a non-current asset value 20,000. This is the same example when I was explaining you the, the concept of depreciation. And let's suppose that we have got accumulated depreciation of 15,000. Remember 5,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000 for five years. So imagine that we've got an asset for 20,000, which have an accumulated depreciation of 15,000. And now we decide that we are going to dispose of this asset. We are going to remove this asset. We are going to sell this asset. So what we need to do that uh, remove the cost of the asset. The first step is that you remove the cost of the asset because if the asset is going out of the business, its ledger account should also be closed. And how to close the ledger account? You make the debit and credit sides equal. When the two sides of the ledger become equal, the balance becomes zero. And you can say that asset is no more there. It has zero value. For, for doing that thing, we need to create a temporary account, which is called disposal account. And we make the double entry as debit disposal account with original cost and credit non-current asset. So non-current asset has a debit balance. We make it a credit and we put this debit to the disposal account. You see like this disposal account debit and non-current asset account credit. So now the two sides of the non-current asset account are equal, which means that this, this account has zero balance. So it's gone. So if non-current asset you have removed, any accumulated depreciation which is related to this asset, it also must go with the asset. So we do the second double entry, remove the accumulated depreciation charge to, the, to date. So how much we have? 15,000. So we make a double entry, debit accumulated depreciation, credit disposal account. So previously we had a credit balance in the accumulated depreciation account. Now we make it a debit. So here we make a debit to accumulated depreciation and credit to the disposal. So now what has happened that the non-current asset ledger has 20K on two sides and accumulated depreciation has 15K on both sides. So these two ledgers, they essentially have zero balance. So they can, you can say that they are gone. And both of these amounts have been transferred on the disposal account asset 20,000 with accumulated depreciation of 15,000. So these two ledgers are gone and we have transferred the value into the disposal account. And now the, now the time comes for selling the asset. So let's suppose you take the asset to the market and in market, somebody is willing to purchase your asset for 6,000. So if you are selling the asset for 6,000, you have to record the sale proceeds and the double entry will be debit cash and credit disposal account. So here we go, debit cash and credit disposal account. Cash ledger, I'm not showing here, it is not needed, but you can make a T account for cash and put 6,000 on the debit side. And last step is to close the balance of the disposal account. So how do we balance off the disposal account? We make it two sides. We know from the balancing ledger that whichever side is bigger, we write down the total. So this total becomes 21,000. And here we have 21,000, but this does not make 21. There is a difference of 1,000. So this 1,000 is your gain or law. It, it is your gain into the, which will go to the income statement. Because what happened that the asset had, when you see accumulated depreciation and the ledger account, so your asset had a net book value of only 5,000. So a 5,000 worth of asset you are selling for 6,000. So if your net book value is 5,000 and you are selling the asset for 6,000, so naturally speaking, you are making a gain. You are, you are, you are making some profit on this sale. So this 1,000 is called gain. Now, uh, just assume that if we had sold asset not for 6,000, but for 4,000. So in that case, I would have put here 4,000. So this had made 15 plus 4, 19, and this is 20. So, so of course, I would write down 20,000 here, 20,000 here. This makes me only four, 15 plus 4, 9, and then I would put loss here, 1,000. So gain appears on this side, loss appears on the credit side. So this is accounting for disposal. So what we have done so far, we learned the depreciation two methods, straight line method and uh, the, the reducing balance method. We gave some time to revaluation um, and 
we did some simple example for evaluation then there is then there is disposal so and this is enough for this and this is all for the topics which we had to cover in this thing yes of course there are a lot of things uh, little little things which can be explained and which should be explained but those we will explain in the practice question sessions so i have allocated one hour session for doing practice questions and i have selected some eight or nine questions from your bpp and kaplan book and i will do those questions together with you and during those questions some more concepts will come and then i will explain those concepts but as far as for the theory is concerned this is all for this uh, is 16 tangible non current assets focusing only for acca f3 thank you very much for listening and uh, i would suggest you to also watch the next session which is for practice questions